Hey guys, here we are with baby boy, celebrating another 10 pounds gone. So we've lost 20 pounds total. He's gaining weight, I'm losing. Uh, <laughs> and I wanted to give you the breakdown, rundown of how it all went. Because it's not been a gradual one pound a week or half a pound a week. It's been a series of plateaus and losses and then plateaus and hikes and plateaus and losses. And so I was going to go over that for you so you can get a good, uh, a good amount of data to make your own conclusions. If you'd like to see how I did the first 10 pounds, please watch my other video. It's called 10 Pounds Gone. I had lost 10 pounds by the end of week 15. Then between the weeks 15 and 20, I must be very honest with you and say that I was celebrating. I was so happy I'd lost 10 pounds that I was celebrating, but I was celebrating in the wrong ways. I was celebrating with cookies. And what does that got to do for your weight? By week 20, I was the same weight as I was in week 15 because I had been playing with how many cookies could I eat and still work out and lose weight at the same time? And the answer was, I was breaking even. So I didn't lose any weight for those five weeks. I was eating them all back in cookies. So I spent the next five weeks, that's training weeks 20 to 25, having an internal debate with my glutton demon, or my whatever it is, that addiction to sugar that is my sweet tooth, you know? How much Am I going to go sugarless here? What, what kind of a life change am I looking at? And I was trying to decide, I was trying to make decisions about it. Oh, there you go, go play. And that's what I spent five weeks kind of seesawing and going back and forth saying, well, can I do it this way? Can I do it that way? What would I actually take action on? The answer was if I had not received any significant re results in my weight loss by the end of week 25 that I was going to make a drastic change in, my, in what I put in my face. What do I put in my mouth? And, you know, with all the other things that you can or cannot control in your life regarding your health, you can control what you put in your mouth. The question is, will, will I control what I put in my mouth? Because I really like my cookies. I like my chocolate. I like candy. I like all the sweet things. I am a sweet tooth. I have all the sweet teeth. It took me that long to have that internal debate with my glutton demon or my gluttony because... I had to be strong enough to resist the sweets when they are presented to me on a platter and being handed to me as a gift. But what's happy is the results. I can fit in all of my pants again. I am no longer wearing pregnancy pants. Is that worth a few plates of cookies? Yeah, that's worth giving up a, a few plate, a few cookies, a few cookies, a few, a few cookies. Honestly, having my wardrobe back, which I and not having to buy a whole new set of clothes. Is, is financially worth a whole room full of cookies, honestly. Here I am sharing my happy dance with you, wearing all of my old pants. I only fit in three so far. I've got two more that when I lose the next 10 pounds. And even that third one that I'm wearing, I've got a little bit of a muffin top on my, on my long jeans. But over the next 10 pounds, that muffin top's just going to shrink. As long as I stick with it. Start relishing water more and chocolate less. Water is good. Chocolate is also good but not when it ruins your health and well-being. It's not worth that. I think I can safely say that my first 15 weeks of training, the focus was and the message was sleep is important to your health and well-being. The message this time is nutrition. Quality nutrients, nourishing your body. You want to nourish your body, not just play with your taste buds. Okay? <laughs> Because there's a lot that tastes good that is not good for you. And it just makes you sick when you try and work out. You try to run on a whole dozen donuts and you're going to throw up afterwards. Like, that's not fun. No one wants to be... It makes you sick. You want to fuel your body in positive ways. Don't work, don't.